Yo, what up? So my parents were pretty strict back in the day. Hey dad, can I? No! Get back in your cage! But over the years I learned a few tricks and now my parents let me do whatever. You killed them, didn't you? And I'm gonna tell you how I did it. Strict parents don't let you do anything. No shit, Chubby! And there aren't many things you can do to change their mind. Do your homework! I don't have any more. I'll make you more. And one thing I wanted to do as a child was sleep over my friend's house. But whenever I asked my mum, she thought I was a complete idiot. Why you wanna sleep with your friend, gay boy? What's wrong with your bed, huh? Back in the China, I sleep on the floor and the chicken is my pillow! Sleepovers meant one thing to parents. That you're doing stupid shit and you're gonna get in trouble. But if you're a girl, it means you're gonna get kidnapped and then like, touched on your private area, like on your butt. Oh my god. And then you're gonna get... Driven to the desert and murdered! And your mum's gonna find your freaking bones on some murder documentary and she don't want that! She wants your bones at homes. Studying. So how can you sleep over a friend's house? Well here are a few things that wouldn't work. Hey mum, I finished all my chores and my homework. Can I sleep over? Bitch please, are you, are you serious? Are you gonna play that card? Your parents expect that shit already. You ain't gonna get no reward. Doing your homework and your chores means you're getting fed for the day. That's your reward, butthole. Hey mum, I've got an assignment with my friend and we don't finish until 4 a.m. Might have to sleep over? Your mum don't give a fuck. She's willing to stay up 4 a.m. and take you home. She'll be waiting outside your friend's house at 12 a.m. and wait for four hours just so you finish on time. So that ain't working, bitch. Hey mum, I got school camp this weekend. If it ain't no math camp or camp for smart kids, you ain't going. Your mum doesn't want you to learn any survival skills. When you're a doctor, you're not going to be in the bush, so you just ain't going. Hey mum, it's my friend's birthday and we're road tripping. Do you even want friends? I mean seriously, do you want friends? Because if you say that shit, your mum's going to call up your friend's parents and complain. Next thing you know, your friend hates you and you're playing chess by yourself at lunchtime. Do you want that? Shit. Do you want my... My best life? So what do you have to do if you want to sleep over a friend's house? Well, what I did was, I just cop the shit. What that means is I snuck out of my house, ran for my life, and then suffered the consequences later. I know it might sound stupid and dangerous, but it was the only thing I could do back then. And I know it's not something everyone can do, because you get beat up for that shit. Ping pong your face! But your parents have to understand that you can take care of yourself. And when they see that, they might be more lenient next time. Okay, you can sleep over, but call me every five minutes to make sure you're alive. But I don't know, some parents are different. Maybe they might take you to the desert and next thing you know, you're in the murder doco. But yeah, I'm not telling you to copy me. I'm just telling you what I did. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Bye.